Welcome back to more Over the Nexus, everybody. In the last episode, we ended up dueling some opponents here. Um, I believe we dueled three more, because we dueled this one two episodes ago. Then we dueled in Mato Hypnicorn and Naturia Cherries. Now we're going to be taking on Watmul and Tiki Curse, and I'm not going to be dueling these three right now, like I said. And But I did figure out what you need in order to unlock these. I'm not sure if some of the comments also said this last episode, because I'm recording um, in a row, so I haven't been able to actually read the comments for last episode. But this one, Eren, Lightsworn Monk, you unlock by being able to summon Judgment Dragon once. If you summon Judgment Dragon once, including through rental decks, because that's why I summoned it, you unlock Lightsworn Monk. And Legendary Six Sam- or- wait. Wait, 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 one, two... What the heck? Okay, wait, 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 this is weird. Because one of them you unlock by summoning Gladiator Beast Heraclinos. Right? I'm pretty sure which I did summon, and the other one is by winning 10 in a row, but why would you get this one by- Okay, that's really weird. I'm pretty sure that's how that worked, but anyway, okay. Whatever, let's just go ahead and move on. Let's do a lot more. One thing that I haven't mentioned before is that this game, just like all the other World Championship titles, the recent ones, you know, the like Stardust Accelerator and Rivers of Arcadia, uh, you want to duel them multiple times in a row, so what I'm going to be doing off screen, like always, is duel these uh, duelists two additional times off screen for a total of three. Um, if you defeat the first six free duel opponents uh, three times each, you will unlock World Championship Edition 1 as a booster pack. So I want to do that because you know I'm doing my best to unlock as much as possible in this game. But I also don't want to pain you all through having to watch me, you know. Because um, that'll be a little ridiculous, watching me duel every opponent three times. Alright, so I'm going to summon Trident Warrior and I'm going to special summon Xaber Arabellum because of that. So that can grant me an instant range 7, which is... what is it again? It's, um... oh, Lightning Warrior. When this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle and center of the graveyard and inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card in your opponent's hand. Hmm. I mean, I could do some battle damage. I could also make... It, you know what? Screw that. Trident Warrior is not exactly ideal, I'll just say. Um, hopefully I don't have a battle trap, though. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. That's a Watt Hopper. Thank god I already made you to lose that thing. Okay, here's the thing with Watt Hopper. Um, Watt Hopper is actually one of the better lockdown cards because of the wording on it. Let me show you what I mean by that. No, so I discarded Watt Key. Face up Watt Monsters you control can attack your opponent directly this turn. Your opponent cannot select another face up Watt Monster as an attack target or target them with card effects. Uh, that means that, yeah, if you have two Watt Hoppers, that's actually a lockdown because some some cards actually are worded so badly when it comes to lockdowns. Like, for example, if you take a look at Decoy Roid, you know, it's a similar card but for the Roid archetype, it's already even worse than Watts. Um, but because of the wording on that, because it says accept Decoy Roid, it means that if you have two Decoy Roids, it doesn't work that way. You can still attack it. Well, that sucks. Well, shoot. But yeah, anyway, so I'm sure you get what I mean with Decoroid and with um, Watt Mole. Or Watt, Watt Hopper. I don't know why I said Watt Mole. It's Watt Hopper. Watt Mole is the guy I'm facing. Alright, so I got some options here because I did just lose two monsters, sadly. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and summon Giant Rat. And to be honest, I don't really care about the attack loss. Because if I get killed by battle anyway, which I probably will, it's fine. It's fine, because I am going to um, be able to search out something and float into something. But, well, I mean, the thing about Watts is that a lot of them are actually able to attack directly. So, they could entirely bypass me completely. I'll see what you do regardless, let's see. Oh, you activated Watt Castle, one of the worst field spells ever to be released. Any monster that attacks... I didn't even get to read that. Oh, no. You're, are you going to bring the lock? Oh, no. You're going to bring the lock, aren't you? You probably are. No, you didn't. Why didn't you... Okay. Let me show you this. Any monster that attacks a Watt monster loses 1,000 attack after damage calculation. Yeah, I don't really care, to be honest. I don't care. Um... It's one of the worst field spells because it's after, so you'll still... I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Alright, so I'm just gonna... 
Should I just fissure that shit? I probably should, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna fissure that thing. Because, you know, yeah, I'll lose attack and stuff, but I don't care. I really, I'm just gonna summon this and put some United We Stand on here. Heck yeah, on you. So now you're gonna gain 1600 attack, now you're gonna be at 31. Alright, and I'm good to go for some attacks here. So I'm gonna be able to do 41, which um, puts you down to 1300 life points remaining. You're in a really bad situation there, Watmole. You're almost dead. Okay, and I'm going to end a turn. Okay, so you put a face down, um, that sadly can demolish me if it's the wrong card. Um, in that case, I'm not going to summon a monster. I'm just going to go ahead and swing for an attack, right? I think that makes the most sense. Hopefully this works. And it worked. Okay, thank God. I don't know what that was, but I dealt with it. I dealt with it. You win. Why, yes I did. How much? Look at that duelist bonus, dude. This is amazing. That's one great thing about this game. I know I saw that in the last few episodes, but man, look at these bonuses that you're getting. This is crazy. Compared to Nightmare Trobador, oh my god. In Nightmare Trobador, you'd be lucky to get like freaking enough for one booster pack from one duel, you know? Like, it's actually pretty difficult to get, you know, 150 DP per duel. And this one, you're getting like 2.5 each. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, damn it. I lost. The, the really shitty thing is the fact that, like, like, the way you play this game, what they want you to do is duel the same opponent multiple times because that card gets saved. That, like, 3x3, three three, it gets saved for that for each each duelist. So, like, if you, if you beat somebody and you get it wrong, you at least know because you can then duel them right away following right that. So you know where those cards are. But if you're dueling them only one time each, do you think once I beat this guy and I go back to Mojo, do you think I'm going to freaking know where those cards were? I mean, I guess I could look back at the recording. Sure, I could cheat. But, um, I could just watch my own video, you know? But in most cases, no, you can't do that if you actually separate your duels. You want to duel the same opponent multiple times in a row. Sadly, because it's the nature of a Let's Play, I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm kind of handicapping myself with that, you know? So, yeah. Alright, so... Tiggy Curse. Tiggy Curse is an interesting card. I mean, it's um, it's a monster trap, as they call, as they call it. Um, and I guess it can be problematic in some ways. Sure, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Trident Warrior and just swing for an attack here. No monster. Yeah, that's fine. He's probably gonna activate a monster trap. I'm going to assume, but I mean, I I assume your theme is that. It seems like it. Wait. Oh, okay, no, not this attack. All right. This is great for me because I have Mobius in my hand. So you know what? You're screwed next turn if you don't do anything. You are screwed. Please make this duel super easy for me. Just don't give me a hard time this turn, please. I beg of you. I beg of you. Oh my god, I keep getting emails from Noda. I don't know if a lot of you know what that means. N-O-D-A. It's an acronym, Noda. It means National... Uh, National Orientation Directors Association. Basically, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but, um... Oh crap, which ones were the newly sets? Shit. Okay, I think I know. You literally played four face downs, dude. What the heck is... Oh my god. Yes. But yeah, um... You know, that stands for National Orientation Directors Association. Some of you might notice, if you've been longtime fans of me, but if you're newer to the channel, you might not really know. Oh, hell yeah, I picked the right ones. These stupid monster traps. Um, but the other thing that I do, because I actually have two jobs. I mean, this one is hardly a job. It's more of a hobby because the amount of money that I make through YouTube is nowhere near, like, the amount for making it a job. But it's it's nice revenue on the side, you know, and I appreciate that from each and every one of you that are supporting me along the way and watching these things, these, these stupid videos that I make, you know? Um, but... Yeah, 
The other thing that I do as well is I work for the orientation program for my university. I go to Cal State Long Beach, CSULB. You can also call it Long Beach State University. It's in Southern California. It's one of the 23 CSU campuses in California. Um, and it's, it's a big campus. It's a really nice and beautiful campus, but it's big as well. Um, but anyway, oh, crap, you just set two more, dude. Are, are you serious? Shit. I feel like I should giant true nade, huh? Oh man. You know what though? If I giant true nade and then tribute summon for Zab- Oh no, but that's not gonna help because I'm not gonna win this turn. I would have to find a creative way to- Hmm. It's honestly not worth it. Not worth doing the giant true nade right now, right? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Might as well. Destroy that shit. What is that? AD Changer. You can banish this card from your uh, in your graveyard and select one monster in the field changes battle position. All right. I'm gonna swing for an attack here. There's, you're probably gonna activate a, a monster trap, I'm assuming. That would make sense. Let's see. Wait, are you serious? Dude? What what the hell? What is this guy doing? This means I won more than likely. If you don't set a monster I won because I have giant true nade, I can just do that next turn. Anyway, going back to the whole Noda thing, you know, the orientation program, you know, obviously, typically, no matter where you are, if you're coming from a high school, you know, from secondary education, and you go to university, you would have to take part in the orientation. Also, if you're going from a community college, like if you're transferring into a university, more than likely, you will also have to partake in an orientation at your university. Um... So it doesn't matter if you're an incoming freshman or an incoming transfer student to university, you have to do orientation in most schools. Some schools make transfer students optional, I think, I believe. It just kind of depends, you know, but um, but anyway, uh, one really neat thing, I mean, one of the goals of orientation, of course, is to, is to make incoming students get acclimated to the university through, like, finding a sense of community. So at your orientation, you do things like icebreakers, you know, and just fun activities to make people being able to bond with each other, you know? Um, as well as, like, introduce them to campus resources, like how to get involved, how to, you know, we have different services on our campus, like counseling and psychological services and, you know, student life and development, just random stuff like that. But anyway, I mean, I'm sure you, I don't want to get too technical here, but... Um, the, oh, a one free miss. If you miss once, you can try again, okay? Oh, I get some DP. Hell yeah. All right, let's see. Shit. Okay. So that's... Oh, wait. I... Oh, crap, dude. What the... Okay, well, I... Whatever. I lost. I freaking lost. Anyway. Noda. It's a conference, basically. Um, this, this past year in February, actually, before the whole COVID thing, um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm done here. I'm done with all these opponents for now, so I'm just gonna go back to story mode. But this past year, um, it was in, in February, like February 20th or something. Um, it was actually in Las Vegas, believe it or not, University of Las Vegas. Um, and it, it was really interesting because, um, you get to meet basically other people who work for their orientation program across different universities and stuff. And that's basically what Noda is, that you get to collaborate and find find different ideas from different individuals who share that passion, you know, as well. And you just try to better your or your own orientation program by having other people help you out using their ideas, you know? Alright, so I still didn't get shit from what I wanted. Which is fine, because am I at 80% now? Fuck, I'm not at 80%, dude, are you serious? Okay, give me one more booster pack, please. One more booster pack. Okay, well, I got one new card. I'm at 74%. This is ridiculous, man. This is so ridiculous. I mean, I'm gonna get there eventually, you know? Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go into story mode now. But yeah, I think I spoke enough about Noda. I think all you are bored about that topic. Basically, I'm getting those email notifications because I went to Noda, alongside a few other people from my university who also work for orientation, some of my friends. And I just keep getting these freaking emails about Noda, like, you know, like, what ideas and stuff we can build from each other. I'm like, okay, cool. Cool. Anyway, we found Crow. We last left off here in this campaign with Lily, you know, and Crow over here. Hmm. So, 
What? Dude, Lily, you're making it seem like I- Oh, no. How could you kidnap such a small child? I can't forgive you. What? Okay, why are people so stupid? Crow, you're a lot better than that freaking stupid guy Bronson, okay? I don't want to compare to Bronson, but right now you just assumed something so dumb. Dumb lo You did- oh. I mean... To be fair, this one is more reasonable because Lily was crying and saying like that man. I mean, if anything, it's Lily's fault for wording this horribly. God damn it. God damn it, Lily. Alright, so we're dueling Crow. Crow is actually a pretty formidable opponent, mainly because of the fact that he uses Black Wings, and Black Wings are actually a pretty good archetype. Um, so. Um, what's that thing called? Black Whirlwind is actually limited in this game, but if, if he starts with that. I might be screwed. Okay, put a face down. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's see here. If you control, you can special summon its card during battle. Okay, this thing basically has piercing. And then this thing, when it destroys the opponent's sponsor, you can special summon a Black Bee monster from your deck. Okay. So, I think my best strategy here is to attack this one and then use Fissure on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon. I'm gonna summon Wing Rhinos. Enter battle phase. Attack this. And the attack did not. Oh god. So you're doing plus 1400 attack. Um, so I'm screwed. I'm basically fucked. That's okay, I suppose. Um. I don't know, are, are any of these tuners? Like, they're not. I mean, I'm actually kind of hoping that you go into a synchro. So, I mean, that way I can just fissure you easily. I'd rather do fissure later if you use more resources, you know? Like, I feel like that's better. So, I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to use fissure. Okay, I'm already kind of in a bit of a situation here, you know? Alright, so let's see, you're going into main phase one, and let's see what you are doing. Probably something ridiculous if you ask me. Oh god. That's a tuner! Yes! This card is added from your deck to your hand by the effect of a spell trap or monster card. You can special summon this card. Now this card cannot be used as a single material except for- okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna use Dust Tornado, because if you have a negate when I use like Fissure or some other bullshit, I don't even know man, what is that? Dang it! So like one face of monster you control until the end phase of lose 500 attack. I didn't get to read all that. Let me see what this says. I lose 500 attack and during battle between um, it is piercing. When it destroys the monster by battle and sent to the graveyard, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to... Okay, that's fine. I don't freaking care. It's not that great. In this circumstance, at least. Are you going to think of Synchro Summon? Please Synchro Summon. Please do it. Yes! Oh man, but you only use two. Shoot. Well, shoot. Well, this is bad. Cannot be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage. Oh, it's that stupid thing. And you take no battle damage from battles. Popping this card. Alright, so I'm gonna take a shit ton of damage this turn. Um, well, actually, not really, because... No, when you attack that, I can just go into a Call of the Haunted. Let's do it. If you want to crash into me, then sure, go ahead and do that. I don't really care. What are you doing? Oh my freaking god. You have got to be kidding. This guy and his hand traps. Yeah, I don't know if you all know this, but 5Ds was the era when hand traps started to be prominent. Things like Battle Fader and that stupid Blackwing Honest ripoff, you know, and DD Crow and Effect Veiler. And I think Swift Scarecrow also came along, which is a much better version than Karibo. Alright, so... There's actually Creature Swap. Um, but... I can, hmm. Okay. Okay, um... I think that's my best bet. I can Fissure the weak one, then I, this thing can be targeted, right? Uh, on which hand remove all? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that in that case. So I guess I'll just summon. Originally, I was gonna just run and summon this, ram into it, kill each other, and then do a fissure main base two to kill this one over here. 
But now that I have that, I can actually get a really good monster. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by fissuring the weak one, of course. So kill that thing. Then, I'm going to summon... Should I summon my... I might want a stronger monster. No, but I might, might want to keep a tuner. I'm going to summon this thing. I'm going to creature swap. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and attack. And honestly, this puts me in a pretty good position, um, because now you only are going to be able to play with two cards in your hand. So I can't really see you making a comeback. I mean, this isn't Legacy of the Duelist, you know, in 2020, when if opponents have two cards, they actually have ten because all because there's nine cards, or there are eight cards in the graveyard, actually all have effects. Okay, he's just top deck a Black Roland, which is not horrible in this circumstance. Um, it wouldn't be much worse if he got it earlier. Okay, are you going to special summon that thing though? He actually might, and that's going to be a problem if he does. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh, it can attack directly when this card attacks. Change one attack with the monster opponent controls to defense position. Oh, that's fine. Fine, whatever. Even though my life points are running low, so I need to be very careful here, because I could actually die. I'm down to 19 now. Alright, so I'm going to go into defense position, but that's okay. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, time to make some massive plays here. Here we go. Draw. Mobius. Oh my god, I can... No, but it's not worth it, right? I don't think it's... It's not... Uh, that's a little debatable, but I'd rather also just get another monster, right? To do more, even more damage. Plus, there's a pretty good chance that you can actually bring something else, like another Splutter Drop next turn anyway. So, you know what? Okay, so I know you, I know the other card in your hand. That's not a problem. Um, I'm just gonna kill you. That's minus twelve. And then you over here. Oh god. Oh shoot. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Okay, okay. I'm down to nine hundred. I have to be incredibly careful now. This is ridiculous, dude. The worst part is that if this guy top, literally top decks another one of that card, I lost the duel. Because you can just do it next turn, that effect again. Oh my god, I'm freaking nervous. Okay, he's set. I don't think there's any problems here, right? I don't think there is. Oh boy. Okay, what am I going to get? Swords of Revealing Light. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. This quick and attack your point. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Yeah, no, if you got this thing again. Jesus. Alright, um, I guess I can. I might as well do it, right? So I can also destroy your stupid whirlwind. That'll like to make things a lot easier, if you ask me. Did you another spell or trap? Uh, no. Alright, so we're gonna enter battle phase here. And yeah, you're basically screwed. I mean, you got nothing left. You're going to be down to 1,100 life points, I believe, so it's over. I believe it's over for you, crow. And, oh my bad, I'm going to end. End. What are you doing? That's it. Oh god. Okay. You're not going to have a hand trap right there's, there's no way. There's no way. There's like literally no way. The only one you have is that thing that get, that grants 1400 attack to another Blackwing. Plus the 1000 burn, but you're dying, so it's not going to work. Yep. Yeah, because I think you need another Blackwing to battle to use that other one, so that's fine. Low life points bonus. LP differential bonus. Look at that. I just got 1100 DP. This is some crazy shit here, man. You're not bad, but I won't forget, forgive you for what you did. What? Crow, why are you so stupid? What are you talking about? <laughs> this person helped me here. Oh my god. You couldn't have said that in the middle of a duel? Oh my god. Like, I'm pretty sure Lily stopped crying out for like a minute. You know, like maybe when we were in turn two of a duel. So she could have just been like, wait a minute, what are you doing, Crow? No, instead she's like, I'm just going to wait for this duel to finish, then I will make my point. 
Oh my god, Lily. You are you are something else right now. I'm not in the mood for you. I'm not. Alright, well. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I am used to it. Everybody in this game is literally stupid, so you're not any different than other people. It's fine. Are you crying again? Okay, to be fair, you both are. <laughs> again, Lily, you could have just stopped the duel, but no, you're like, let me wait until the duel finishes to make my point. God. The crow? Okay. Yeah, so one of the weird things, like, Technically speaking, when it comes to story arc, this is a continuation of the previous one, oh, Blizzard the Far North. Um, but as you can see, in terms of like, it's really weird because it's sort of a sequel, sort of not, right? I, I don't know, I, I don't freaking know. I don't know how to explain this shit. Alright, so, what the heck? Why are there cones here? The road is blocked off. Okay. Um... Couldn't we previously go in here in the other games? Because th this place should actually seem very familiar. And if you remember, there was actually a prize over here in the last game. And this time there actually is, once again. It was a card. It's Drillroid. Alright, what is this? It's a bridge, but it's not finished yet. But see, that was finished in the, I don't know, in Reverse of Arcadia, right? Alright, so I can't go any other way except, you know what, I should probably go and save, right? That might be helpful. There's a save one over here somewhere. It would be useful if they, um... If they let you see save points in the map. But unfortunately you can't. Like, they're invisible in the map. I don't know why they did that, but... Whatever. Alright, so we're here in the new area. Um... Let's see what we get here. Okay, there's like nobody here, man. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go over here. I don't really think there's anything in here, I'm pretty sure. Like, are there rewards? Nothing but junk. Okay, well, whatever. You can technically enter these rooms, but again, I don't think there's anything in these in these places. Like, it's completely empty. This will actually be um a place we're gonna be not to like I guess minor spoilers, but we're going to be coming here later in the game, I believe, for something real quick, but... Um, as of now, I'm just double-checking here to make sure that there's nothing here. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually... Stairway's blocked, yes. That's pretty much all there is here. Okay, so there's nothing here. There is another save point, so I guess I can take that, sure. Um, okay. I didn't- oh, dude, I, I didn't mean to press it again. Shoot. Alright, so I'm almost out of time here, so what I'm gonna actually do is just go ahead and, um... Ooh, a new pack. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and buy some cards, because I did get some DP again. Might as well. I want to reach 80% with Dark Beginning 1, so I can at least start using the passwords. Um... So as far as new packs, we've unlocked two of them. These are just unlocked by basic story progression, I believe. Um, the more you progress in the story, the more packs you unlock. These have already been a thing. And then that's... yeah, no, that's fine. Alright. I'm gonna buy more of these. Hopefully I get some stuff... ...here with these seven booster packs. Okay, there's MST, thank god. Alright. I, I also need to, need to just get a lot of new cards, um, because I need to improve that up to 80%. Yeah, Curran Campbell, Red, um, Red Moon Baby. Eventually called just Vampire Baby. Sewagen. Legendary Fisherman. I don't think I'm at 80% still, but at least I got one MST, so that does save... Well, I'm at 78%. That does save... A little bit... Of DP, because it's gonna cost 1,000 for each, so... Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go into new... Yeah, yeah, MST is actually semi-limited in this game, as you can see. Okay. There's also ceasefire, but I don't think I want to put that right now, right? Like, I mean, it's cool and all, but... Mm. No, it's, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of Dust Tornado because MST is just a better version than Dust Tornado. And then for everything else, um, I'm mean, gonna have both Mage Power and United We Stand, but I guess that's fine. That's fine for now. It's a minor upgrade, I'm glad I got that. And I'm close to 80%, which I should be getting in the next episode of reaching 80, so I can start just actually using passwords for the cards in that pack, so... Yeah. 
Um, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.